The way that startups meet investors and try to agree to close the investment should not be mysterious. There are many phases, of course, and there are so many things that can go wrong. But when they go right, obviously, everyone gains. The founders who receive the financial means needed to implement uh, their idea and uh, healthily grow the project, and the investors who have the opportunity to back successful startups gaining the financial return they expect. I decided to contribute to the uh, demystifying of the process by starting the Network Society Ventures Pitching Live streaming series. I give startups the opportunity uh, to meet me online and explain their idea, their business model, why their team is the best to execute it, illustrate what amount of money they are raising, what is going to be the use of funds, and what they expect the outcome to be. Also, uh, issues around competition, exits, and all the questions that are asked in a typical investor pitching meeting. The Network Society Ventures Pitching Live series is streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and anybody can catch it live and participate with their own questions that I will choose and if the question is relevant and interesting, based on my opinion, I will turn it around to uh, the startup entrepreneur pitching at that time and answering that question will contribute to clarifying the whole process. I am looking forward to uh, be able not only to uh, execute this uh, in person, but also to rely on other hosts that want to uh, participate uh, who I will uh, train on uh, uh, what to ask, how to uh, go about uh, recording a live stream that is useful both for Network Society Ventures itself but also to the startup as well as the startup ecosystem at large. Working together with incubators and accelerators gives the opportunity to the startups graduating from uh, uh, their programs to present online. There are a lot of ways, of course, that these presentations can be executed already. Any startup can set up a camera, start talking to it, and talk passionately about their idea and their project. However, there is a big difference in having somebody in front of you who plays devil's advocate who is asking the hard questions needed, who knows where to probe and put you on notice if what you are telling uh, is, is not really cutting it, is not passing the muster. So that is definitely an important value to the startups. Now, of course, um, it is not compulsory uh, to come on Network Society Ventures Pitching Live Somebody could say uh, that their idea is too precious, that they don't want to share it, or that they would want to share it on, only under a non-disclosure agreement. This is a very frequent, uh, naive objection on the side of startups. Uh, it is naive because it presumes that your idea is so unique and so precious that nobody else can ever have it and it shouldn't be exposed to the world. And of course, that is almost never the case. The idea will uh, occur most likely to someone else. Remember, Google wasn't the first search engine. Facebook wasn't the first social network. YouTube wasn't the first video platform. All these were born after somebody else had the idea already. So what is the difference? The difference is the ability to execute and also timing. And none of those will diminish if you are passionately 
sharing your idea, talk about it, uh, whether uh, privately with an investor, whether at a cocktail party, or whether in an online streaming pitching session like uh, I am doing with Network Society Ventures pitching live. Sometimes it can happen that uh, you want uh, to protect a certain subset uh, of your ideas or the particular way that the idea is implemented. The most important reason for this is because you are about to file a patent on the idea where uh, prior disclosure could impede the patent to be accepted, actually. And naturally enough, it doesn't depend on whether you are talking uh, uh, on a live stream like uh, we are doing or whether you are posting a blog or any uh, other communication medium. You have to be careful and working together with your lawyers, it will be important to understand what you can say and what you cannot say. Another reason why uh, a startup uh, may not want to participate is because they are not ready. But if they are not ready to go live with their pitching, they are not ready to be pitching in private either. So I believe that this is a great opportunity to explore and expose the ideas. Uh, and uh, I uh, decided that uh, that is how I am uh, going ahead from now on. I receive uh, an average of about a dozen uh, pitch uh, decks uh, every day. I um, receive them, I look at them, I have my analysts and associates uh, uh, analyze them and file them. But of course, uh, it is impossible to set up a specific uh, conversation with uh, each of those. And there is already a filter there. I reach out to the particular startups that catch my interest who uh, are going to be interesting for Network Society Ventures. These are seed stage startups operating at the intersection of exponential technologies and decentralization. We are uh, geographically neutral, uh, whether the startup is uh, formed by a team that is European or American or Asian, whether it is African, it doesn't matter. The team can also be distributed. Often at the early stages, the decision of where incorporate is still to be made. And of course, our recommendation is going to be to incorporate as a Delaware C Corp. Today, 2020, that is both the fastest, the cheapest and the easiest decision to attract venture capital at each stages. The opportunity to participate in Network Society Ventures Pitching Live is actually broader than the specific set uh, of companies uh, that uh, uh, we, at the end, uh, uh, would be ready to invest in. We will loosen the criteria a, a little bit exactly because we uh, want to bring uh, this opportunity as a contribution to the ecosystem ourselves. And of course, we will always be very explicit with the startups and some of them uh, will understand, others uh, will dedicate uh, their half an hour uh, to some other activity instead. Network Society Ventures Pitching Live is half an hour of the startup's time and half an hour of the host time, such as me. And the event is divided in two parts. The first part is I let uh, the startup using their slide deck uh, expose uh, the idea. Typically, they will illustrate what is the problem that they are addressing, what is the solution that is radically different than anything that exists today allowing an at least 10 times improvement on what is existing already on the market. They will talk about a team. What brings them to where they are now and why they are uniquely um, adept in providing the solution to the market, developing it, evolving it, 
and finding the so-called product market fit. They will talk about uh, their go-to market strategy, whether it is a business to consumer or business to business um, product or service. And what uh, are the features that they uh, expect to incorporate in their minimum viable product? How they will be able to uh, get traction where the first customers are going to be ready to start paying for whatever they receive. There will be an opportunity to talk about projections. And many of these are, of course, uh, answers uh, to questions that will evolve in time. And both parties, the startup and the investor, understand it. And we don't expect these projections to be perfect. They are always opportunities to ask more questions. Why do you expect a dip uh, in uh, profitability in year three? Or how uh, do you um, plan international expansion contributing to revenue growth? Um, how is uh, your gross margin evolving through time uh, as you work uh, better and better with infrastructure or suppliers. After the 15-minute expositions, the second half for 15 minutes of Network Society Ventures Pitching Live is dedicated to the uh, questions that uh, uh, come up in the first part. Because I don't interrupt the entrepreneur in their flow, I want to uh, let them finish the presentation first. So we can go back and look at slide number X, Y, or Z, asking question to clarify. A very important point that must be asked even at this very early stage is what is your exit strategy? The investors want to get liquid on their investment. They are different from uh, the partners that uh, stay with you forever, whether co-founders or employees, that can be in the business as well as suppliers or, or customers for 10, 20 years uh, as uh, it matures. An investor, especially an early stage investor, will want to get out on average, not farther out than five, six years from uh, the time that uh, they made the initial investment. And whether that uh, liquidity event happens through uh, an IPO, an initial public offering, or it happens uh, through a merger and acquisition, or actually as uh, the token-based blockchain models mature and allow faster liquidity uh, to the investors, talking about this right at the beginning is uh, of fundamental importance. Now, Network Society Pitching Live uh, wants also to go, of course, global. Um, not only the startups uh, that uh, uh, send me directly the uh, pitch decks and uh, which I am uh, meeting, but also uh, startups that uh, are in other geographies, maybe even only speaking the local language rather than English. And that is why, um, for me, finding and training other hosts to run the program uh, is uh, important so that uh, the number of startups that uh, benefit from uh, this opportunity grows um, in a manner that is scalable and embraces from India to China uh, to Japan uh, to South America uh, many uh, parts of the world where English uh, may be understood, but where very often startup founders are more comfortable expressing their ideas in uh, uh, their native tongue. Today, uh, all the videos get uh, automatic captions in an increasing number of languages. And the translations of those captions is also becoming either automatic or affordable through professional services, or it can be uh, actually outsourced to a community of passionate followers. And why not? The startup itself 
can ask uh, its community to please go on YouTube and uh, uh, contribute uh, to the translation uh, of these captions so that uh, their message can reach uh, the largest uh, number of uh, possible users. Network Society Ventures Pitching Live is a, a new initiative. As I am recording this, I have barely started the first uh, few episodes. But you see, I like uh, to uh, act as I preach, and I like to share the ideas that I am working on, even though uh, they are still evolving. And I am looking forward to getting ideas and understanding what you think about this, how you would uh, adapt it uh, to be even better, serving the ecosystem of startups all over the world. And um, this is it for the context uh, this week. Uh, I am uh, looking forward to recording a new episode and uh, to meeting uh, all of you in the various platforms uh, we are, where we are uh, conversing and when, where we are interacting. Thank you.